games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we team up. Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to a new series in the build up to FIFA 21, which is where I'm going to predict some of the player ratings and what some of the cards are going to look like for the Premier League teams. I'm going to do a team per episode. I'm not going to do the entire squad. I'm going to do like a, a big chunk of players, like the main players are like a handful, like the starting team and all of this other kind of stuff, just to kind of try and roll through these as quickly as I can and keep the videos to a short, precise amount that you guys can watch. And it's not like a pain to watch. Hopefully you enjoy them. So hopefully it's not a pain to watch anyway. But uh, so they're nice and like over a period of time and not too long winded. So I'll go for anywhere between like sort of 10 and 14, 15 players per team. So we'll start off and we'll go through them alphabetically. So the first thing I'm going to do in the team we're doing today is Arsenal. So the first player we're going with their talisman because I'm assuming he's going to sign a new contract. So this is in that assumption. I've gone with the Bamiyang. I've upgraded him to an 89 because I think for too long now, EA have slept on how good this man is. Another phenomenal season from the main man himself. And I think 87 shooting is justified. 94 pace, I think is justified. 83 dribbling is good too. And uh, I really do think this guy's going to be fantastic. I, I think he's a phenomenal player and hasn't had the credit he deserves for a long period of time. So I think it's about time EA, you give this man a blooming good card because he deserves it. Next, we've got Hector Bellerin. Bellerin, I've upgraded to an 81 rated player and an, a right wing back card instead of a right back because they've played sort of five at the back of Fairman and he's kind of been as a, a wing back. Now, I've upgraded him plus one. I know a lot of Arsenal fans are probably going to think, why the hell have you done that? I genuinely think, apart from a few big mishaps, I think actually he's not had the worst of seasons. And I think because he's changed to a right wing back instead of a right back, I think his stats they'll have in his card will actually be better suited. So I think that's why he's going to go up. If I was making a right back card, I'd have kept him at an 80 rating. But because he's a right wing back, I think his card will be higher rated. I know it's a really stupid thing because obviously you can just convert it with that one card. But that's EA's brain. That's how they work. It's like looking on career mode and playing someone at like a right wing back and they're 84 rated. You move them to right back, they're 82 rated. That is a thing. That's something that happens. But genuinely, I think this guy will be an 81 rated card. Again, he's going to be quick. Again, he's going to be wanted at the start of the year because of that pace. Uh, and I think an 81 is probably just about right. One of the easiest downgrades to make on this episode, that is David Luiz. I've downgraded him from an 83 to an 82. I think, again, another justified um, up or downgrade. I think he will no longer be a board. I think I was going to go 81, but it felt like I was just being a bit harsh. So I've gone with an 82. Uh, and I think it's probably just about right. I think the, uh, he's got very high defensive stats and not too high on the physicality. That's the same on his um, 83 rated card. One thing I didn't quite make sense of is the fact that actually his 83 rated card I don't think he has a single 83 rated stat on his card, but I, I've adjusted them accordingly with what his rating is on FIFA 20, and that's what the stalk that way. What, that's what the stats would look like. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if he gets that card, but I think an 82 is justified. Lacazette, I've kept pretty much the same. I think he'll get an 86. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, players or a lot of people, sorry, think that he's he's going to be on his way out uh, in order to raise funds to make other signings. Regardless, at the time of recording this, he's an Arsenal player and I think he'll get an 86. Hasn't played too much this year, hasn't get as, got as much game time uh, as probably he is wanting or expecting. But realistically, I think he'll have a very similar kind of card to he did this year. A couple of stats tweaked up and down, but I think Lacazette's going to be very similar. Leno, in my opinion, is definitely warranting an upgrade. I think if he'd managed to finish the season, I think he probably would have got an 86. But because he had a bit of an injury towards the end of the season, I think he had a couple of times where he missed out on a few games. He's only, only going to get an 85 from me. I, I do think an 86 is probably justified. So if he got an 86, I wouldn't be too surprised. But I do think he'll get an upgrade. I think he's shown to be a very, very good keeper this year. And uh, I think he's underrated by a lot of people. I think a lot of people leave him out of the discussions when it's like, you know, top Premier League keepers. I do genuinely think he's a very, very good keeper. And I think he's got a good time ahead of him at Arsenal as well. So I think if he can keep up that trend, keep up the form he's going to get himself a decent upgrade for FIFA 21 in my opinion and the next keeper is Martinez now Martinez is 75 as it stands on FIFA 20 and I think that is uh, a bit low for him he's been a player that actually has proven himself time and time again to be a decent keeper uh, it's just that he's the second string keeper that's the only issue with uh, his card not getting upgraded he's not played that much now he's had a few runs in the first team and I do genuinely think he's shown his worth I think he'll get upgraded 78 as well I think is a fair upgrade it's a plus three so it's a bit of a chunky upgrade but I do think it's an upgrade that we could potentially see and uh, again I think it's warranted Mustafi minus one uh do I need to say much more than this uh, I don't understand how Mustafi is still at Arsenal and I don't understand how he's playing at Arsenal I know some people have said to me he's actually played quite well at times great I am chuffed for him I don't, I don't see it. I don't see the Mustafi. I don't see it. I don't get how he's there. So I downgraded him by one. Again, like the Louise situation, none of his stats even add up to 78. But regardless, uh, that's the similar kind of thing to what his 79 was. So I've kept it fairly similar. The, the 78 is the main thing that's changed there, I'll be honest. 
Meza Ozil, Captain Ghost himself, not played very much this season through one reason or another. I'm not an Arsenal fan, so I'm not going to start the discussion as to why. I'll be honest, I don't know all the ins and outs. I've heard a million and one different reasons as to why he's not played much, so I'm just going to keep my opinion out of it. But the opinion I will tell you is I think he's going to go down from an 84 to an 83, mainly because of the game time. Uh, I, I know that when he plays, he's a phenomenal player that can really turn a game on his head. But if you're not playing, it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're not on the pitch, you're not, you're not improving. You're not proving your worth. So I think he will get downgraded to an 83. And in all honesty, a bit of an undesirable card uh, if the meta is anything like 20 years. Nicolas Pepe, I think, has had an okay season, a slow start, but I think he started to show his value and show his uh, worth near the end of the season. Quite a few informs as well along the way, a couple of good individual performances, which I think is definitely warranting an 84 rated card. I think an upgrade is justified. An 85, I'd be a tad surprised, but I wouldn't rule out, but I do think an upgrade will happen, and I think an 84 is the fair reflection for it. Very good pace, very good dribbling, decent shooting. I felt like his passing and shooting, I could have maybe tweaked a little bit more, but I know that wingers often get that little bit lower on the shooting because their dribbling and, and pace and passing and stuff is normally a little bit higher. Higher. so it, it's a tricky one for me in regards to the actual in-game stats or the on-card stats uh but i think it looks just about right and, and i wouldn't be surprised to see that kind of card next year one of the big upgrades that i've made is saka now saka i think is a phenomenal young player a phenomenal young talent and i think he is definitely warranting an upgrade i'd be very surprised to see this card not happen i do think he'll get a gold the question is will he get a non-rare gold for me the main thing was the pace is his pace going to be enough to tick him just into that non-rare because I think if he got 90 pace I think he'd definitely get one but I predicted an 89 pace so it could just be short but I think he's definitely going to get a gold card I think he's proved himself good enough to get there a lot of other youngsters in other teams proving themselves as well and I think a lot of these youngsters like young English talent especially will get themselves into that gold bracket and I think Saka is one of those players who's had a very good season especially for a young player as young as he is. Tierney, Arsenal's new left back, I predicted to get an upgrade. Now, I think some people were probably predicted uh, maybe a slightly higher upgrade, and he could maybe get a left wing back card because, like I said, with the Bellerin situation, it could be a left wing back. I just feel like Tierney plays very well at right back in a four as well, whereas Bellerin, I think, is much more suited to a back five, which is why he's stuck with the left back card. But I do predict an upgrade 78. Again, he's not slow. Again, he's, he's, he's a physical player for a fullback as well. And I think an upgrade is warranted. I think he's had a decent first season um, at Arsenal. I think it was a very, very good move for him and for the club. And hopefully he can continue to improve in London. Uh, and again, I think he's a great young talent and I, I'd love to see him keep progressing. Uh, if nothing else, we got the same birthday. So uh, I've got a bit of love for him for that. Really daft reason to show him some love. But you know what? Birthday boys, let's go. Into the midfield, I've got Torreira. Now, Torreira, I've predicted to... I think he's an 82 on FIFA 20. I've actually forgotten. I'm fairly sure he's uh, an 82. And I've kept him the same. I've tweaked his stats a little bit. I think I upped his physicality down his defence a little bit. But I think... He's had an okay season. I wouldn't say he's had a crazy good season. I'd say he's had a good season. So I think this is probably a justified keeping the same. It could go up or down one, but I think 82 is probably justified. Now, the most recent signing at the time recording is Willian, and I think Willian will keep an 82 rating. I know a lot of people are a little bit poo-poo in this kind of move, but realistically, I think Willian, as much as I think he's a good player, I think the only reason it's not a great move is because it's not the position that Arsenal needs to be focusing on. They've got great forwards. They need a new defence. That's what they need to be focusing on. But I don't think Willian's a bad move. I think he's a very good player, uh, and I think he'll keep that 82 rating. I think he's shown time and time again at Chelsea across the years that he's a very, very good player, and I don't think he'll go down. I'd be surprised if he goes down. The only reason he would is because of his age, because EA decided that if you're older, you're bad at football. Don't get that one. But personally, I think Willian will stay at 82. I tweaked the card a little bit. The main thing is the pace going down, the shooting going up. I think those are the main stats I tweaked. Another example of a player going from silver to gold, and that is Willock. I think Willock is justifying an upgrade. I think he's a good young talent. I think he'll be a non-rare, unlike Saka who got the rare, purely because the card, the stats aren't massively desirable. There's nothing crazy good on there that jumps out at you to go, oh my God, I want this card. But I do think he deserves a gold. I think, again, another young player who's showing to have a fairly experienced head on his shoulders for some of the age that he is. And I think he's a good player that definitely warrants getting an upgrade. So I'd be very surprised if I don't see him get himself an upgrade. And the final player on our list today is Granite Xhaka. Now, I've upgraded him from an 81 to an 82. Now, Xhaka has had a very, very roller coaster season. The start of the season, I honestly thought he was on his way out. I didn't think he'd be staying at the club. I think he kind of cut a lot of ties with a lot of the Arsenal fans with some of the way he behaved on, the, on and off the pitch. However, he seems to have gotten his way back into the Arsenal fans' hearts a little bit from what I see and from what I understand. And actually, I think near the latter stage of the season, he didn't have a bad season at all. I think he's a bit hit and miss, Shaka, but I do think an upgrade is possibly warranted. I don't think he'll go down in rating. I think he could stay at an 81, but if he does go up, I only see him going up a little bit, which is why I gave him that 82 rating. And I, again, I think he's, uh, along with Torreira, it's a very similar kind of situation for me. They're two cards that could maybe go up or down one a little bit, uh, but it's it's tough to see. I, I don't know. I'm a bit tricky, uh, a bit stuck with that one. Uh, but I think Xhaka will get an 82 if you really, really push me for an answer. So uh, that's why I gave him that card.
But that is the end of the Arsenal uh, FIFA 21 player uh, rating prediction video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any players you want to see more of uh, of those teams. What my opinion on. If there's any players I miss, I'll let you know in the comment section. If you say, oh, this player, if it's an Arsenal player, then I'll let you know. Any other Premier teams, you just got to be a little bit patient because I will work my way through those teams and uh, try and get them done. Again, these take a little while to do because obviously I've got to make the card. I've got to look at how they perform this season. I've got to look at the stats, tweak the stats accordingly and everything and then edit it. It takes a long, long time, but they're really good fun to make. So I do enjoy making these. So if you want to see more of them, then please do leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. It helps me out a whole lot. And of course, if you're new to the channel, then please do hit that sub button. That helps a whole lot too. And make sure you turn on notifications to be told anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream. For now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, wash your hands in a bit. Let's go. Uh, hurts the games and this how we do Now it's time we team up, team up. Check them online, you might catch them playing FIFA Hey, yeah, you know we keep it live Make sure to give a like and subscribe Gaming channel, what's the best one? Keep it hella dope, hella fresh, huh? Yeah, hurts the, hurts the games Tune in, even told my grandma My sister and my best friend You might wanna check them If you wanna be entertained You already know the name Check us out, hurts the games, hey Whoop Make sure to give a like and subscribe